Amen. Merci beaucoup. Praise the Lord. A special evening today. Merveilleux. A special marvelous evening today. In your life, in your family, Togo is blessed. It's wonderful to be Togolese. Because the power of God has come unto us in Togo. And from Togo here to the rest of the world. Togo is a blessing to the world. If you are Togolese here tonight, where are you? You will be a blessing to the world. Coach Chilomon, is the man. Father, we well, thank you. We well, bless your name. What a great, marvelous God you are. You have been working specially every day. For second, third, and fourth days. Today, on this fifth day, the day of faith. The day of power, the day of grace. Lord, I pray that your mighty power will get to everyone in Jesus' name. And the joy of the Lord will fill every heart. Salvation for everyone, healing for everyone, deliverance for everyone total redemption for everyone bless us here in togo and let the blessings flow from togo to everywhere in the world today thank you lord for the answer in jesus name we pray god has blessed you you can sit down Remember, we are here for abundant life. We are here because we are connected with the source of abundant life. We are connected with God in heaven, the eternal God who lives forever. When we connect with Him, He gives us His life. We are connected with Christ. The one who died on the cross. He gave up his life that you might have his life. The very son of God. The son of God. Became the son of man. That the sons of men. May become the sons of God. Have you seen him? It, let me illustrate like this. It has to have a rope. He holds that end. And then you hold the other end of the rope. And then that rope was coming down. And the end of his rope touched the edge of your rope. And then he pulls you up to where he came from. When that circle is complete. Before the circle was complete. You were on that side of the road. He was on that side of the road. But he came. And he came to you. And the end of his rope connected with the end of your rope. And the rope made a circle. And then he takes you to heaven. And the joy that comes. When he pulls you up. The joy that comes. When he takes you to his own joy. 
the joy unspeakable the joy inexhaustible the joy unsearchable so deep so wide so high that every day of your life the joy of the Lord becomes your strength that the joy I'm talking about tonight personal joy present joy peculiar joy perpetual joy joy in your soul joy in your spirit joy in your mind and even all the elements and all the cells in your body they have that joy coming from heaven to you there tonight I'm talking to you on the joy of perpetual abundant life through Christ the joy of perpetual abundant life through Christ you will have yours I have mine you will have yours in your soul in your spirit in your mind in your body joy 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 I'm looking at Psalm 105 verse 43 Psalm 105 verse 43 and he brought forth his people with joy and is chosen with gladness look at those people that were reading about i see them under the body i see them under a yoke i see them in sorrow i see them in suffering i see them in sickness and now god came to them it's your own story too the story of being tormented the story of being under a yoke the story in sorrow the story in suffering and the story in sickness and then tonight Christ comes to you tonight tonight Christ comes to you all your suffering he'll take away all your sorrow he'll take away all your sickness he'll take away he'll break every bondage in your life he will totally shatter and scatter all the works of the devil in your life If you never smiled, if you never laughed, if there was no joy, joy has come today. The joy we have in Christ, the joy we have in conversion, the joy we have in total kill, the joy of perpetual abundant life through Christ he will give you that joy there are three things we're looking at number one the present joy of salvation or righteousness number two the peculiar joy of the sick with total recovery that all the all the sicknesses you have everything vanishes away and you have that peculiar joy personal to you you know what you are going through and you know the depression that came on you i am sick i cannot sleep i feel pain 
there is no ease at all any part of my body all of a sudden christ the healer comes to you and christ the healer kills you and christ the healer turns everything around in your life and you have joy that other people cannot understand peculiar joy because for many days you've been living with pain and play but now all pain is gone all plague is gone all problems are gone the joy you have nobody else can tell is the peculiar joy of the sick now that he has total recovery personal present joy personal peculiar joy number three is the peculiar is the perpetual joy of saints at his return you have had joy on earth you will have joy in heaven perpetual perfect forever eternal ever and ever at that time no tears will ever come to your face no anxiety and no worry will ever come to your mind and there is no harassment of the devil in the world that will ever come to you I can see you with my eyes of faith and I see you walking on the streets of heaven and then you look back you say, oh, pastor you are here too and then our joy will know no end in Jesus name personal perpetual joy of saints at his return <coughs> number one number one is the present personal joy of salvation with righteousness i'm looking at some 51 how does somebody have real joy be rich no that doesn't bring joy have a great position that doesn't bring joy have a good wife that doesn't mean perpetual joy have many many children with your name on them that doesn't bring joy have an important position in the government of your country that doesn't bring the joy i'm talking about i bring you david the king I bring you David, the number one in his country. Did he have the kind of joy I'm talking about now? Let's hear him. He said in Psalm 51 verse 5, Behold, I was shapen in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. And then in verse 6, Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward part, and in the hidden part, thou shalt make me to know wisdom. He said, Thou desirest truth in the inward parts. He didn't eat up the truth and truthfulness in his inward parts. Thou shalt make me to have to know wisdom. He didn't have that wisdom that will keep him away from anything that will distract his life, derange his life, destroy his life. Then in verse 7, it says, Purge me with Aesop and I shall be clean. It was saying, I am unclean. 
I am unrighteous. It's unfortunate for me the life I'm living. He said, that's why I don't have joy. Then he said, wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. He said, I am a king. I have great position. My position does not even make me as white as snow. My privilege on earth did not make me retain the whiter than snow nature. And my joy, my joy is not full. I look at my life, my joy is not full. I look at my uncleanness, my joy is not full. I look at my inconsistencies and my joy is not full. Sometimes up, sometimes down. Sometimes moving forward, sometimes retrogressing. Sometimes I'm fast and the other time I'm just down, pinched down. And he said, because of the inconsistency in my life, up and down, to and fro, my joy is not full. He said, that is why I come today. And I'm saying, purge me, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. It, look at verse 8 it says make me to hear joy and gladness you are the only one that can do it you are the only one that can do it my position in life cannot do it my riches in life cannot do it my at my interactions and the people I know they cannot do it he said you are the one that can make me know and hear and experience joy and gladness that the bulls which thou hast broken may rejoice my bones are broken I feel the pain of broken bones and so uh, the pain of that broken bone calls my attention to the pain all the time I don't have joy my spirit man my inner man has a kind of bones and when the bones are all right and have a backbone to stand when the bones are all right and i stand firm i have joy but now the bones of my spirit man inner man they are broken i don't have any joy that's what that's what happens in our lives we have broken bones in our body we have broken bones in our inner man we have broken bones in our spirit man we have broken bones in our mind because of that we don't have joy and gladness and your wife asks you you're not looking happy any problem what the problem many many problems and your neighbors look at you uh, if i have what you have i will be joyful and glad and happy that is what we think if i have the car he has i'll be joyful and happy as the car owners for the first day when the car came happy 
after some weeks and months the happiness is gone the car the property the land the house the material things do not give us permanent joy and gladness and now in verse 9 it tells us in verse 9 hide thy face from my sins the man said the reason i don't have joy i have seen in my life and i see god looking at my sin every time he looks at me he looks at my sins he looks at you and you see the power of sin dragging you to the pit he looks at you and he looks at the pollution and the defilement of your sin making you dirty all over your inner man he looks at you he sees the presence of sin that had not been dealt with you see it's a king uh -uh, it's a sinner it's a professional is a sinner it's her husband he is a sinner he is a wife she is a wife she is a sinner she is a person that has a lot of her words in the world he is a sinner and david knew that god was looking at his sins all the time and he knows how God thinks of that incorrigible sinner. That habitual sinner. That uncommon sinner. He says, God, will you please hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities? If that's only the time you'll have the joy and the gladness then in verse 10 creating me a clean heart oh God if it says even though I'm a king I don't have a clean heart you need to create in me a clean heart it says everything I look at they come through the window of my eyes they get into my heart they make me feel unclean feel defiled feel filthy unclean defiled filthy having a lot of death on my, in my life I know it I feel it and every time I think about my life and I see that uncleanness I ask myself how could you be a religious man as you are and yet remain unclean and defiled and so he pushed everything aside and he said create in me now now today i don't want to keep on feeling unclean defiled and dirty before you today today create in me a clean heart oh god and renew a right spirit within me uh, that, that's what, why we're here that's the only thing that will give us that personal present joy when all our sins are washed away when all our sins are blotted out 
when we have a clean pathway unto the glorious God of heaven. Create in me. You know, as a king, a king is a judge. Looking at other people, you are not clean. And it can punish them. You are criminal. And it can send them to prison. He said, Well, I leave all that alone now. Criticizing other people, condemning other people, trying to correct other people. He said, I want to concentrate on my own personal situation tonight. Me me creating me a clean heart oh god and renew a right spirit within me the man is saying what caused my problem is i don't have a right spirit inside me when i saw Urias fighting for the nation i didn't have a right spirit towards him when i saw Bathsheba, and i look at her beautiful body my heart went astray and i didn't have a right spirit within me towards her all the people around when i see them i have a private agenda of what to do i have a private agenda to take their wife i have their the private agenda to brush out and to kick away their husband so i can have their wife When I, when I look at people, I want to take advantage of them. I want to pull them down so that I can be up. I want to make them nothing so that I can be everything. I see now that's the problem I have. That's why I don't have the present and personal joy. And Lord, I cannot do it by myself. I want all those things in my life that has brought the sadness and the sorrow and that will bring eternal suffering. If I don't deal with that, creating me a new heart, a clean heart, oh God. And renew a right spirit within me. And I look at verse 11. It says, Cast me not away from thy presence. As a king, I know. If a criminal had been in my palace, and now it is proved that that is a criminal. I know as a king, if my citizens, my subjects, if they want, if they come to me and report a man in my palace to me, and they say, this man in your palace killed this woman's husband. This man in your palace has now taken that woman and they are living together after he killed the husband. <clears throat> As a king, I know I will drive that criminal out of my palace. It says, God, you're the king of kings. And the angels report me to you. <clears throat> that this is what I have done. I hurt the man. I silenced the man. 
I buried the man so that I can do whatever I want with his wife. As a king, I know what the king will do. You will cast me away from your presence, from your palace. Please, God. Please, God. Forgive me. I'm a criminal. I'm a sinner. I am dirty. I am defiled. Cast me not away from thy presence. Take not thy Holy Spirit from me. If I'm separated from the Holy Spirit, I'm gone, I'm dead, I'm ruined, I'm tormented forever. Look at verse 12 there. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. The joy of salvation does not abide with cruelty, with violence, with deception, with lying, with stealing, with hurting other people. Restore unto me, I don't have it now, restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. And that's why we're here tonight. That the joy of salvation, the joy of repentance, the joy of redemption, the joy of forgiveness and freedom will be restored unto us. Tonight, as we come sincerely, tonight, as we come wholeheartedly before God. And you confess and you forsake and you throw away all the means of committing sin in your life you confess the sin you forsake the sin and the rope that normally draws the sin towards you you throw that rope away the mode of bringing that sin your way you also take away and you throw away that mode that road that rope that cord that magnet that normally attracts sin into your life you throw it away and the lord will see your sincerity he will know you want salvation you will know you want the joy of salvation you turn your back on every kind of sin you have been committing and you say lord i come lord i come you are the only one that can create in me a clean heart you are the only one that can give me a clean saved soul and tonight will be the day of your salvation let me hear a good good amen restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and uphold me with thy free spirit so that i'll not go down again Number one, the present joy of salvation with righteousness. Number two now. Number three, the peculiar joy of the sick with total recovery. Today, you bring your sickness to the Lord. He takes your sin away. He takes your sickness away. You didn't say amen to that one. It will take your sickness away. It will take your disease away. It will take all those things you are leaning on and they don't totally heal you. It will take you away and give you a brand new life.
Look at Mark chapter 2. In Mark chapter 2, it says, When Jesus saw their faith, before this time, they had pain and pressure. No faith. They had par he had paralysis. And he couldn't try to stop and walk. He couldn't do anything by himself. He had a pitiable condition. And then he heard that Jesus was in town. Have you heard? Jesus is in Lome. Have you heard? The healer is in Togo. You didn't hear? You didn't hear? I heard. I can't hear you. I heard that the healer is there present. And everybody can come to him. And everybody can touch him. The man heard that Jesus was there. And then he knew the place where Jesus was. And he came. But he came late. They came late. They wanted to pass through the door. The crowd was overflowing even to the doorstep. And he told the man, four men carried that man, or what we were called, a stretcher to bring him there. And they couldn't enter. And they knew, if we can only get to Jesus, Jesus will take all the paralysis, all the problem of the plague, all the sickness, all the suffering. Jesus will take everything away. But now they came and they were there at the far back and they couldn't come to the front. And so they did something that nobody had ever done when you know that jesus is there every obstacle you'll take out of your side and so they said what can we do now we go right or is horizontal and then we go left horizontal we try to go forward horizontal we try to go backward horizontal all the horizontal lines were blocked and they couldn't get their way to Jesus when you have tried all the earthly methods horizontally and it did not work why don't you go up vertically and then you'll meet Jesus there and so they opened the roof and they picked up that man and they brought that man to Jesus tonight I bring you to Jesus and I bring Jesus to you and I say here you are here is Jesus by your side there and the moment you connect with Jesus your healing has come your deliverance has come the power of healing from Christ will touch your life you will rise up out of that wheelchair you will drop all those crutches strength will come to every part of your life the internal weakness in your heart will be taken away and then every part of your joints every part of your bones every part of your brain 
every part of your blood system every part of your physical life will taste will have will possess will receive the power of jesus that heals the sick when jesus saw their faith their faith he said unto the sick of the palsy number one son thy sins are forgiven thee son your sins are forgiven thee I said, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, the man came for healing. Why do you deal with the sin first? Oh, he says, because sin is the cause of sickness. Look at that man, a smoker. Now he's complaining of a kind of cancer in the lungs. The cause of the cancer in the lungs is the scene of smoking that thing. And Christ will take away the desire for the scene of smoking and then he will heal your lung cancer. Look at that young man there. His brain is scattered. Why? Because he's been smoking marijuana. The sin of marijuana has brought the sickness and the derangement of the brain. And you need to take that marijuana away from his uh, kind of appetite. Thy sins be forgiven thee. And then the healing will come. Look at that person there. He has venereal disease. And venereal disease doesn't, doesn't jump on somebody on the street. It's because of that immoral lie. That immoral life, the sinful life, has to be dealt with, and then the sickness, the disease will be taken away. When God created Adam and Eve, there was no sickness, but sin came, and the sin brought the sickness. And we are the offspring of Adam and Eve. And when we come to God, we want healing. You will get healing. Amen. But He will take your sin away. What if He heals you? He doesn't take the sin away. I want you to go back in your mind to your house. As you enter, you see water has flooded the whole ground. And you say, what will I do? I'm going to clean up the ground. But the tap water, the faucet is running and running and running. And you begin to work. You're mopping the floor. You're cleaning the water. And you clean the water on the ground. And then you say, thank God, all the flood of water is gone. Then you go out. You come back. And the ground is filled with water again. Why? Because the source of that flood on the water has not been closed. The source of our sickness has not been dealt with. The source of our perplexity has not been dealt with. You close the tap so that the water will not keep on running on the ground. 
that closing of the tap is the stopping of the sinful habit. It's the clearing away of the source of the sickness. And that's why Jesus started with that son, thy sins be forgiven thee. And now look at verse 9. And verse 9 says, Whether it's age easier to say to the sick of the palsy that sins be forgiven thee, or to say, Arise, take up thy bed and walk. And then in verse 10, in verse 10 it says, But that ye may know that the Son of Man has power on earth to forgive sins, it says to the sick of the palsy. Look at verse 11. I say unto thee, the Lord will heal you tonight. At a single word of prayer, He'll take your sickness away. He'll take your sin away, and then He'll take your sickness away. I say unto thee, Arise and take up thy bed and go thy way into thine house. And then in verse 12, and immediately he arose. The problem was serious, but immediately he arose. The problem made him so heavy for men to carry him to the place. And then immediately Jesus gave the word of healing. Immediately he arose. They carried him there. Now he was healed. And he took up the bed. All the people that were helping him to carry the bed, to carry him, he was as healthy as they are. As healed as they were. And he went forth before them all. In so much that they were all amazed and surprised. And they glorified God saying, we never saw it on this fashion. He was happy. You are going to be happy. He was joyful. You are going to be joyful. The people saw him healed. I will see you healed tonight. All those crutches that you depend upon, everything will be gotten rid of. Look up here. You'll stand up like I'm standing. I said you'll stand up like I'm standing. Look up here. You'll walk like I'm walking. Your eyes will see tonight. You will see like I am seeing. The people brought you here. Look at how strong they were. You'll be as strong as the people that brought you here. And we will say, what a miracle. What a healing. We never saw it on this fashion. You will see what you have never seen. You will have and possess what you have never had and possess. Recovery for you tonight. Recovery for you tonight. And joy and gladness for the healing you have tonight. <clears throat> We're looking at number three now. 
perpetual joy you know it's one thing to have a one big joy at the crusade it's something to have joy wonderful joy for the days of the crusade after we finish the crusade tomorrow your joy will continue the following day after we finish the crusade this week your joy will continue next week next month next year the following year joy 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 everywhere you go everything that spells sadness will be taken away from your life everything that bows your head and bows your back and you say i'm in despair i'm in problem all that will go <clears throat> He will give you perpetual joy. The joy of the saints. Any joy that any saint had ever had, you now join the congregation of the saints. That joy will be yours in Jesus' name. When we finish here, on earth and we go up then the Lord will multiply that joy for many many years on ending you'll have eternal perpetual joy of the saints you are saved tonight you're born again today at the return of the Lord, you will remain saved. Remain a child of God. And now, the perpetual joy that we have. The joy that will never end. The joy nobody will be able to take away. That joy forever. That joy perpetual. That joy unending, that joy eternal. Tonight it will begin and it will continue forever and ever. Look at Psalm 16. I'm reading from verse 11. Psalm 16, verse 11. Thou will show me the path of life. Thou will show me the path of life. That's exactly what I've been showing you from the word of God. The path of life. The path of eternal life. The path of everlasting life. The path that leads to the abundant life. I'll show you tonight. All you need to do is to turn around and then take the four steps in the way of life everlasting, life eternal. You cannot say, I don't know the path of life. Now you know, now you know. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and the life. Whosoever cometh to the Father by me, he will find all sufficiency in life. And as you come, and you come to Christ, the way into life eternal, joy will begin. A present joy, a personal joy. And as you continue in the way, that joy becomes also peculiar. That every day in your life, the joy of salvation, 
the joy of satisfaction continues in your life and then he says in thy presence in the fullness of joy in your presence here the fullness of joy and then when we cross over to the other sides when the saints are marching in you are there with them i'm there with them and we're marching with them perpetual joy forever at thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore that's the joy we're talking about personal present also it's peculiar and now eventually it is permanent and perpetual it's yours tonight wonderful it's yours tonight as you come as you get to the way of the lord and that christ the prince the power of god in man he associates with you he connects with you and you are converted and then joy 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 all the way through in your heart in your life tonight I will have the joy of salvation. Say it for yourself. I will have the joy of salvation. I will have the joy that satisfies. I will have the joy sufficient to take me throughout life, whatever the challenge of life that may come. You will have joy. Who am I talking about? Sorrow taken away. Suffering taken away. Dissatisfaction taken away condemnation taken away judgment taken away forgiveness has come freedom has come salvation has come it's bowed and eyes closed the lord wants you to make the personal choice of that salvation in the Savior Jesus Christ it's bowed and eyes closed you want to come into this salvation that is full of joy wherever you are you raise up your hand there God bless you there God bless you there you want this salvation and the joy that comes with the salvation Raise up that hand anywhere you are. In the front, in the middle, at the back. On the right, on the left. Salvation is coming now with joy. If you are raising up your hand, please stand up and identify yourself before the God of heaven. You stand up and identify yourself before the God of heaven. He will forgive your sin. Blot out all my transgression. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. Raise up your hand and stand up. As we are standing up, tell the Lord over there. Oh Lord, I want all the sorrow of my sin to vanish away. I want all the judgment of my sin to vanish away. Give me forgiveness. Give me freedom. So that I will not continue in my sin. 
and your salvation will enter into me and I have that personal present joy of salvation the Lord do it for you in Jesus name I'm praying with you now mighty God merciful God creator God compassionate God all these who are standing here and there online everywhere they come for forgiveness and they come for your salvation according to your promise that can never fail forgive them now in Jesus name wash all their sins away take the defilement of their sin away from your side forgive them and set them free give them that salvation and let the joy of salvation come to them right now thank you lord thank you lord it is done we have received they have received everyone that came to you tonight has received that salvation and the joy of salvation we praise your name because we know you have done it in Jesus name we pray praise the Lord you are saved praise the Lord now you have that salvation and you have the joy that your sins are now forgiven keep on standing keep on standing our counselors will come to you there our officiating and moderating overseer tonight will take over now and lead us in this time and then i'll come back you'll be healed tonight in jesus name you are welcome into the kingdom of God. Vous restez debout. Keep standing. Les conseillers, approchez-vous d'eux et aidez-les à remplir la fiche. Counselors, get near them and help them to fill the forms. Rapidement. Quickly. Vous allez derrière au fond. You are there at the back. Ne laissez personne. Do not let someone out of this. Vous mettez vos noms. Write your name. Lettre capitale. Please let that be in capital letters. Vous mettez votre numéro de téléphone. Your telephone number. Vous mettez votre adresse. You put your address. Le quartier. The area. Cela va nous permettre de vous aider. That will help us to help you. Le conseiller, faites cela très vite. The counselor, please do that quickly. Aidez-les rapidement, rapidement. Help them quickly. Si vous nous suivez en ligne, vous allez, vous allez voir un lien. Vous cliquez sur le lien et vous allez déboucher sur une page et vous allez remplir et laisser vos coordonnées. If you are following us online, you will see the link. You click on the link. And then you will see the form to fill there, and then you will fill it. Faites cela vite. Do that quickly. Si vous nous suivez sur la radio, la télévision, 
If you are following us on radio or television, il y a un numéro WhatsApp que vous pouvez aussi. There is a WhatsApp number that Avec you can ce numéro, also send your information to vous, us. En, vous nous envoyez vos, inform vos informations. You send your information through that WhatsApp number. Faites cela très vite. Do that quickly. Allez partout. À ma gauche. The counselors go everywhere. Fond, At my left and the au milieu, in the middle also. À ma droite. My right hand side. Donnez les vraies informations. Please give their correct informations. Vous êtes maintenant des enfants de Dieu. You are now children of God. Donnez-nous vos vraies coordonnées. Give us your true informations. Retenez ceci demain, ici à 14 heures, il y aura le déjeuner avec Jésus-Christ. Bear this in mind that tomorrow by 2 p.m. there will be lunch with Christ. C'est très important que vous veniez à ce déjeuner avec Jésus-Christ. It's very important that you come to that lunch in, with Christ. Les conseillers, faites vite. The counselors, hurry up. Si vous avez fini, if you have finished, vous me faites signe en soulevant vos petits drapeaux. Please, you can lift up the, your little flag for me to see. Faites cela vite. Do that quickly. À ma droite ici, est-ce que vous avez terminé? C'est fini? À ma droite? My, at my right hand, please, have you finished? Les superviseurs? The supervisors? Est-ce que c'est fini là-bas à ma droite? Have you rounded up at my right hand? À ma gauche. To my left. Si vous avez fini, faites-moi signe. If you have rounded up, please give me a sign. Ça finit ou bien ça continue? Have you finished or you continue? Ok. Au milieu, au fond. In the middle. Est-ce que c'est terminé? Have you finished there? Le pasteur revient pour prier pour les the malades. Pastor is coming back to pray for the sick. Préparez-vous. Be ready. Soyez prêts. Be ready. You are ready for your healing. It's getting to you there right now. Whatever your challenge, whatever your burden, whatever the sickness, whatever the disease, the Lord will touch you now. The Lord will heal you now. Once we mention the name of Jesus, that name is mighty and powerful. It will take away every burden of your life in Jesus' name. Raise up your hand for your healing. 
lay the other hand where you have the challenge and you must check up when we finish you must throw away that stick when we finish you must arise when we finish and you must check that place where the problem was the problem will not remain there God is ready for you now healing is available for you now get your own get your own father in Jesus name you are the creator you are the recreator and you are the one that heals us by the stripes of Jesus were healed whatever the name of the sickness whatever the name of the disease I pronounce healing for everyone now in Jesus name open your eyes and see in Jesus name listen and you will hear in Jesus name open your mouth and speak out in Jesus name every pain in your body I command that pain come out in Jesus name <clears throat> Every infirmity, every sickness, every disease, long standing problem, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. And the evil spirit tormenting your brain, tormenting your mind, by the word of the Lord, I command come out in Jesus name incurable disease be healed now long-standing problem be removed now and every miracle the people of God wants recovery that the people of God want healing that anyone desires right now it is done miracle it has happened healing it has happened deliverance it has happened you have got your own you have got your miracle your healing is already there with you Lord confirmation everywhere demonstration of miracle everywhere that your people will know that they are free from sickness and disease right now in Jesus name we pray Amen 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 It's right there Check up yourself Your miracle is there